If you want to travel in an RV but don't know how to make a living along the way, then this video is for you. You no longer have to be tethered to a location-dependent job to make ends meet or get health care or save for retirement. Now there are hundreds and hundreds of opportunities out there so you can get out and live your life now and not wait for retirement and still make a living. Today I'm going to tell you about four jobs just like that and not one of them is work camping. Happy Sunday, everybody. It's Robin with Creativity RV. I hope you're all doing well out there. I am excited today to bring you this video. I've been meaning to do this one for a few years. Now, if you're new to my channel and just stumbled on this video because you were looking for remote jobs, let me tell you, I work and live full-time from an RV, and I have for several years, and I'm the author of the book, Work From Home While You Roam, The Ultimate Guide to Jobs That Can Be Done From Anywhere. Today, I'm going to tell you about four jobs that you can do from an RV, and none of them are work camping. Now, there's nothing wrong with work camping. I have a whole chapter dedicated to that and another one dedicated to seasonal workers. But when people think about remote work for RVers, that's really all they think about, and then they stop. And I'm here to tell you that there are hundreds and hundreds of opportunities out there in all kinds of different fields, whether you want to make some quick cash or have a six-figure salary job, there are opportunities out there for you. So out of all of those, I chose my top four, which was really tough, but just keep in mind, it's just the tip of the iceberg. There's something out there for everybody. The first opportunity I want to tell you about is delivering RVs. Now, that's not so tough, right? Because you already know how to drive an RV. RV transport drivers deliver RVs from the manufacturer to dealerships across the country. And here's what's really cool about it for us. This is a flexible job. So you can choose what you want to do with it. You can do it just in the peak season. You can do it part-time or you can do it full-time. And if you do, this can be a six-figure job. Now, you might be wondering if you have to have a CDL license to do this job. Not necessarily. Most companies do not require that you need one unless you're driving a rig that's over 40 feet long. And with a lot of these companies, you get to choose what kind of a rig you're delivering. So if you're comfortable with a 25-foot Class C, for example, and not with a 40-foot Class A, when you go in to choose your gig, you choose the one that you're comfortable with. The book has 13 different listings for transport companies, and each one has a link to apply and tells you what that specific company is looking for in terms of qualifications and background and what they pay. As you can imagine, every company is a little bit different. So today I just wanted to give you an overview of what the transport job is like and how you get paid. So when you go into these companies, you're generally going to see that there are two different types of jobs listed. One is for a tow-away driver, and the other is for a drive-away driver. Tow-away drivers use their own truck, so they have to supply the truck and all of the equipment to hitch up, but then, since they have their truck, they have a way home. Drive-away drivers, on the other hand, have to figure out how they're going to get home. So most of them deliver the all-in-one RV with a towed on the back, which is a little car that they pull behind them so that once the RV is delivered, they can just unhitch that car and drive home. Most transport companies have a minimum and maximum allowable age for their drivers depending on the insurance requirements. A lot of them have a minimum age of about 25 and a maximum age of 75. They also require that you have a little bit of experience driving an RV before you can start delivering them, but for most of us that's not a problem. Here's how it works. Once you apply with one of these companies and get approved, you generally go into something called a load board where drivers can see what's coming up for available gigs. Once you choose a gig, you usually get paid in one of two different ways, either by the mile or a flat fee. Either way, you usually get paid half of the money for that gig up front when you pick up the RV because you have to pay for all the gas on the trip. The other half of the money is generally paid when you deliver the RV and finish the paperwork. Pretty cool, right? You could choose when and where you want to do this type of a gig, or you could do it full time and make a really good living at it. The second opportunity I want to tell you about is being a reseller. So if in your travels, you have a really good eye for spotting things like 
high-end fashion items like handbags or textbooks or electronics, then this might be for you. I've got 13 different ones in the book, and as you can imagine, they're all a little bit different. But like I said, if you really want to make money in this field, the good things to focus on are handbags, books, and electronics. Resellers that know how to spot these items at a low price can do very well. In fact, I know a nomad who makes six figures a year just being a reseller for designer handbags and shoes. So if you have an eye for something like that, check this out. The platforms are very cool. Let's say you're in a thrift store and you see some kind of a designer handbag. You can go right into many of these apps and ask it how much they will give you for that handbag. And if you decide it's worth it, you can buy it, take it right out to the post office and ship it off to them without having to carry it around with you. The next job I want to tell you about is being a fully employed customer service representative or virtual assistant. There are a ton of opportunities out there if you're an entrepreneur or you want to be a contract worker or a freelancer. But a lot of people just do feel more comfortable working underneath a regular employee with all of the benefits and infrastructure that that gives them. As I'm sure you guys know, the opportunity for remote work has absolutely skyrocketed in the last 20 years, especially after COVID. A lot of these opportunities seem to be in the field of customer service or being a virtual assistant, but really you can find anything across the board for almost any kind of office work. Now you might say, hold up there, Robin, I've searched for jobs like that and I can never find anything. Well, that might be because doing a simple Google search for the words remote job brings back over 500,000 listings. Your dream job might be buried in there somewhere, but who has time to find it? To make it worse, when you search for the word remote, that can mean a lot of different things to a lot of different employers. In the book, I have a chapter called The Big Five and How to Use Them, which breaks down the big five employment marketplaces. What's important to know here is that some of these platforms are job boards, and other ones are actually search engines. So to find the job that you want, you have to know how to search for it in the right way. Here's an example. Let's say you go into the employment marketplace Indeed, which is really a search engine, and you wanna find remote jobs. It's not easy to find. You actually have to go into the location for the job and search for the word remote. But if you're searching on the employment marketplace Dice, you actually have to go up into a little search bar and type in the word remote to find those jobs. But don't despair. The jobs are out there. When you go into these platforms, just keep in mind that you have to understand how that platform was built and how you have to drill down and find the remote work. Sometimes you just have to take about 10 or 15 minutes and figure that out. And then all of a sudden the floodgates open up and you will find listings for all kinds of remote work. But wait, you then have to figure out if the job listing you're finding is remote friendly or remote first. If a job is remote friendly, that just means that every once in a while they're okay if you go home and work from the couch, but it's not something that you can do all the time because the job doesn't support it or the infrastructure for the company doesn't support it. What you guys want is a remote first job, which means that the job is 100% remote, it was built that way, and they have the infrastructure to support it. And finally, the fourth job I want to tell you about is the job you already have. It is absolutely possible to change your current job into a remote job. And remember, remote work has grown 159% since 2005, and 69% of companies already have remote workers. So you're actually going with the trend, not fighting against it. So I'm going to give you a few tips on how you can successfully turn your location-dependent job into a 100% remote job. The first thing you have to think about, of course, is can your current job be a remote job? There are lots of jobs that have to be done in person. I mean, if you're a car mechanic, you can't be a remote worker. But if you're working inside of an office, there's a good chance that you can't. The next thing is to think about if remote work is trending in your industry or business. It is not uncommon now for companies to offer a telecommuting option to their employees. Are you seeing that? And have you seen your company make changes to their infrastructure to save money like going lean? Then making a pitch for remote work might be for you. If you think it is, you want to prepare a pitch and arm yourself with the data. 
when you go in for your pitch, you don't want your boss to be thinking you're just going to be lounging on the couch all day in your pajamas. You want to go in with a fully formed plan that explains to them why it works for them if you become a remote worker. So here are just a few fun facts that you can bring up when you make your pitch. Remote workers are more productive than their office counterparts. 79% of employees say that they are more loyal to their employer if that employer offers some kind of flexible remote work opportunities. 66% of workers surveyed said that they are more productive when they do their work outside of the office instead of inside. To that end, 76% of workers say that there are less distractions outside the office. 91% reported that they're more productive when they work from home. Remote employees are 43% less likely to experience burnout. And this is my favorite one, especially if you're going in with a pitch. According to Flex Jobs, employers save $22,000 on average per employee when they allow that employee to work remotely because of the savings in infrastructure cost. And definitely, when you prepare your pitch to change your job to a remote job, be confident and have a plan that explains to your boss exactly what the logistics are going to be and how this is going to work for them as well as you. So that's four out of hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of opportunities that are out there. If you wanna get out and live your life now, you don't have to be stuck. There is something out there for you where you can make money and get on the road. I hope that this has just piqued your interest and you guys start to search for the job that can help you live the life that you want to live right now. Please share this with your friends or anybody that can use this information. Subscribe if you haven't already and give the video a thumbs up. I'll see you guys next week with an all new video. Until then, everybody out there, have happy travels and be free.